Welcome everyone. About a week ago, I was being very generous to myself and ordered myself a little surprise. So I thought I would do a little video today. So today's video, we have the unboxing and setting up of the Creality CR10S Pro V2. Inside we have the manual, which we are going to completely read here. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. And we're done. Happy days. So now that we know everything, let's get started. First up, we have a power cable which is pretty much just a cattle leaf. Next, we have a USB pen with a micro SD card for transferring your prints from your PC to your printer. Something for cleaning out the nozzle and your blue snips or cutters, whatever you want to call them. Some tools, on keys and wrench. Some spare parts, spare nozzle. A lead to connect your printer to your PC if you wish to. Spool holder for your filament. A lovely scraper for destroying the printing bed if you want to. And a spare Capricorn tube. We also have a, what I like to call a tester spool with a whopping 200 grams of white PLA. A lot of people would throw these away, wouldn't even use them and wouldn't be of the greatest quality of filament. So I'm just going to speed up the video for about a minute or so as it is just me removing the packaging from the 3D printer. So I'll come back to you when um, we're putting on the top part. When you're putting on the top part, you need to put the bottom of the frame underneath, start at the 
the front of the printing bed and then go back it'll not go down up now if you're up above it the printing bed it'll not go down you need to start underneath and go through you will hear like a clicking noise whenever it slots into place you should be able to hear it in the video there are two screws to go in either side they go in from the bottom upwards so you want to make sure that you slide the 3d printer slightly off the edge so you can have access screw the screws in from the bottom there's two screws at the top two screws on the other side they'll be screwed in with the allen keys that is supplied Make sure you pull this cable all the way out. Next you want to plug in the Z motors. So there will be a cable that's taped down. So remove the tape and plug those Z motors in. Then you want to make sure that the wires are actually tucked nicely out of the way. As when the printing bed is moving back and forth. The, you want to make sure that the, the leveling knobs underneath the printing bed they don't catch the cables are on the Z motors next you want to just go around everything making sure everything's tight so make sure all the screws are tight the threaded bar it is supposed to move you should be able to see me doing that in the video it is supposed to be moved to move so that's completely fine check the belt underneath the printing bed it's not too tight but it's not too loose either okay so just double check it it should be fine but double check it anyways you also want to check the belt on the on the arm itself uh, that your hot end is attached to again you want to make sure that it's not too tight it's not too loose make sure that the hot end itself is secure it's not wobbling 
If you do need to make any adjustments, use the wee wrench that comes with the printer. So in the video here you'll see me loosening it and then tighten it up again. So that is how you would do it. Don't over tighten the hot end. Make sure that it's tight enough that it doesn't wobble when you try and move it. But it still moves freely along the belt. I want to make sure it still moves nice. Next up, you want to check the tightness of the belt itself. I will show you now in the video how you can adjust this. There's a couple of screws. Just loosen them with the Allen keys. Then you want to tighten up the belt. You need to pull it back. You'll be able to see me pulling it back. And you pull it back and you tighten it. Tighten that screw with the Allen key. want to plug in the ribbon cable, it's quite simple, pull those wee tabs back and the ribbon cable will just pop into place, you should, just, you should hear a click and then there's another wee cable, it goes in there as well. 